Am I filming? I don't know. Are the numbers moving? There. Okay. Well, you have to ask me when I'm... Oh, yes, yeah, it is. We're good. All right. You have to ask me when I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> Boys don't make passes. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. It's a bit of a scorcher. Here we go. I think I need to tilt my phone up just a little bit. Now, this is a very, what we would call tailored mountain bike trail. Unlike the trip through El Sabo, which is more of just like a walking trail, this trail is created exclusively for mountain biking and maintained as such. It's a lot of ups and downs and one of the, and curves. One of the things that was not very clear in the last video were how the hills came into play. So maybe you'll get a better sense of hills here because that's all this place is. A lot of ups and downs and twists and turns. Brian, how long is this trail? Like eight miles? So when we were in the parking lot, we saw several other mountain biking groups heading into the trail. So we may encounter people, either people that come up behind us who are faster or people in front of us who are slower. This trail is, uh, it's not as scenic as riding through El Sapo, where you'll see a lot more birds and critters, plus the lake and swamp, etc. This is all about riding. For those of you who have become fans of Cherry Bomb, I continue to be a giant fan of this bike. As you can notice, his brakes are squealing a bit less. So he's definitely getting better in that regard. And for those of you who are concerned that Ghost Rider has been abandoned in the garage, I will let you know. Ha. So, all right, we're gonna interview you folks. Oh my God. Well, welcome to the movie. What's your name? Niall. And this is? Colin, how are you doing? Oh, where are you from, Colin? Uh, I'm from Granger, Indiana, but I grew up in London. I, I was like, <laughs> I didn't talk like that in Granger, not like when I was there. All right, well, welcome guys. A little international biker.
Whoa, another suicidal chipmunk. I kind of love this trail just because it's so, I like the ups and downs. And like, I like the whole kind of really mountain bikey experience that this trail provides. Whoa, I gotta, don't get distracted and crash into a tree, please. Well, as you can see, when I have to make a sharp break, I'm still squeaking a bit, but not bad. Butterflies! Whoa! Yeah, this is a little bit roller coaster in here. One of the things you see in here, see in here, not see and here, is this, in addition to mountain biking, this park is also home to a very active Frisbee golf course, which Brian and I have yet to try, but you'll see several, talking and riding this trail huh. you'll see several like right here see that come on that is a frisbee golf hole or I don't know what they call it but so they're interspersed throughout the trail and they have competitions tournaments a lot of people come here and do it. It actually looks like a lot of fun. Squirrel! Now, Brian's bike, which we call Honeybee, because it's yellow and he's a beekeeper, until recently, had a pretty profound, consistent squeaky noise. So I could always tell when he was behind me. But lately, sort of spontaneously, it has stopped squeaking. Okay, we're gonna have to stop for a second just to, un 
understand this phenomenon. Someone has hung a bike from the tree. We don't know why. It's not a mountain bike. So that's weird. All right, is another, I guess you call them a green for frisbee, frisbee golf. This is the loop-de-doop section, loop. De doop we just saw a dead chipmunk. Obviously didn't make the daredevil moment. Loop. De doop That's kind of like one of my favorite parts of this trail. We're not quite done loop de dooping That's the end of loop to doop. Oh, there's Brian. Hello.
You'll notice this trail seems to cut across other trails. Those are not bike trails. They're separate, separate trails for the Frisbee golfers so they don't get in our way. You notice I'm going relatively fast and that's because on this trail, you don't have to worry about encounter any, encountering anyone walking or coming in the opposite direction. The trail switches directions every other day. So say we're to come here tomorrow, we would be riding the same trail, but in the opposite direction. I really don't know if you're getting any kind of sense of how hilly this trail is, but I surely can tell you know how twisty it is, but it's quite hilly. When you hear me out of breath, you know I've just been climbing a hill. And when we pick up speed suddenly, because we're going downhill. having a really good ride today. It's fun. At the top of this hill, we'll do a little pause, wait for Brian a little bit. This is the cut through where occasionally Brian cheats <laughs> and takes the shortcut. <laughs> I don't know what that bird is, but it's making quite a holler. There's our friends. Another chipmunk. God, the chipmunks are 
playing their suicide games today. All right, here we go. Yes. Woo. All right, down the hill. Yes. Sometimes it can be a little confusing with so many crisscross moments, but they have the trail pretty clearly marked. So there's arrows and flags, helps you stay on track. This is actually another part of the golf course here to our left. Something just bit my leg. All right, roller coaster, here we go. Woo.
I don't even know if that person we just saw a glimpse of is in front of us or behind us because the trails all switch back so much. It's often hard to tell. There's Brian. I think that person's ahead of us, but I don't know. So, of the three or four trails we ride with any regularity, this is the combination trail of kind of very groomed, but still adventuresome and fun. Um, Port Custer is definitely kind of like the least groomed trail. It's, it's a bike trail and there's several options. There's a green and a yellow and a red trail there. So you have three different trails you can ride. They do crisscross each other a bit. But they can be rough, a lot of routes. Not as groomed as this. This is a very groomed mountain bike trail. Like, and they're always kind of playing with it. Like you, at the beginning of the summer, not so much now, at the beginning of the summer, you would come here, say you rode here once a week, and there would be kind of new sections of the trail that they would open up or extra extra jumps they would add. So they were constantly kind of grooming it. For Custer, they don't really, they, they did add one little trail recently, but for the most part, it kind of is what it is. And they try to keep trees off the trail. And then of course, Now, Sabo is really not a mountain biking trail per se. It's just a trail. Hiking, mountain biking, running. There's some attempt to have like directionality, but it's very not marked. And you know, you can be mountain biking and then come across someone walking their dog coming right at you around the bend and you have to kind of be careful of that and as someone who both mountain bikes and runs and also walks a very old dog in there I have to be conscious on all levels and then the third place or fourth place that we bike very rarely actually is uh, in Kalamazoo, a bike trail called Martin Glen. We're gonna stop right here on top of this hill, wait for Brian, because there he is. Where'd he go? I think he took a shortcut. Hmm, all right. He keeps taking the shortcuts. Oh yeah, <laughs> he took a big shortcut and cut in front of us. Hmm. So now we're gonna throw on some speed here and catch up.
Now I'm wondering if that was an illusion. And he didn't take a shortcut. Now he's way behind me because I'm throwing on all this speed. Because I think I would have caught him by now. So I'm going pretty quick. I'll just roll. I like doing this part of the trail fast anyway, so it's fun. Hmm. All right, here's some jumps. Airborne, Jesus. Airborne. Chipmunk. There he is. He is in front of us. And we have caught him. You You're so fast. Well, while we're behind Brian, we can talk a little bit about his blouse. It's a very brightly colored Hawaiian print tank top showing a lot of shoulder. Chipmunks. This section I call reversal of fortune. Well, yeah. Way. Yeah, because when you come the other way, this is one of the most fun sections of the trail. It's loopy and fun and all these bank turns. And when you come this way, it's just an annoying uphill through the sand. Oops. And Brian is trying to downshift when it's just too late to do so. And this is where you see the benefits of Cherry Bomb's frame lightness. Cherry Bomb probably weighs 
a good 10 pounds less than honeybee. And so it's easier for him to handle those hills. Low pen. Open, now open, low penis. I'm not sure what that said. You see a lot of these tall kind of plants in Michigan. I have to ask Brian what they are. There are a lot of them in El Sabo too. That's obviously more fun going the other way too. Going downhill. But we're coming towards the last part of the trail here. There's one of our golfers actually. This is a little deceiving because you, you actually have a glimpse of the parking lot for a moment and then you kind of ride by it and do about another half mile of loopy trail that brings you back. So you think, oh, we're at the end of the trail and you're not.
Ooh. I wish I had some park information I could impart. Like when this park was built, who built it, how many people a year come here. The park is actually lovely and it's not just this bike trail. There's a large dog park, play area, volleyball. And there's a second little bike, I wouldn't call it a trail, course, we'll call it a course. A little bike course for jumps and more of a, that kind of thing. The picnic areas. It's very lovely. You don't have to pay a nominal fee to park or you can get an annual parking membership, which right now Brian has. And I haven't put one on my car yet because <laughs> if you join in August, you only get like five months. Um, but if you join in January, you get the whole year. Generally, Brian drives when we come here and I drive when we go to Fort Custer. Well, this is the end of the trail here. We finished. Huh. Hey, guys. I'm making a little movie and I was talking about Frisbee golf. So what is, what is Frisbee golf? So it's golf, but instead of hitting a ball, you throw a disc so and the, there's three different types of disc okay there is a driver which is a little bit thinner so it glides through the air there is a putter which is thicker around the sides so when it hits the basket it catches better so like just like with golf you, you actually switch yeah like you switch discs the way you switch clubs in golf yes yeah. so i would start off like here i would throw a driver and then when i get closer i would throw a mid-range this is for I usually throw some my second shot and then I go with a putter. Now how, how you have to get in those little baskets that we see all over the place. Yes. How hard is it to like get it in those baskets? It's pretty easy. I, I would think I could get close to it and then I would spend like two hours <laughs> trying to get it in that basket. It's I mean, as long as you hit the the chains, it goes in every time. Oh, okay. Is, but I thought you had to like drop it in. Oh no, you just <laughs> hit the chains and it drops right in. Yep. All right, cool. Well, how long have you guys been playing? This is actually our first year. We've oh, really? Out. Yeah, but we you seem really to, like You it. seem very knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of friends who've been doing it for a while. Cool. Well, thank you so much. What's your name? Oh, uh, Carter. Carter. And Jay, this is Brian. Well, nice and you guys. this is my social media following. Awesome. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Thanks. All right. Well, that was informative. Since we've been riding around this Frisbee golf course for years, <laughs> didn't know what how to play. So you can see here, there's a little playground, nice picnic area. And on the other side of the playground is this kind of, I don't know what you would call it. What would you call it, Brian? The, the bike trail for kind of more jumpy, jumpy, dangerous stuff. All right, and that concludes our exciting ride through Three Rivers Bike Trail. Brian says adios.